This is the Iowa Weather Report for Sunday, March 10th, 2013. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. This is at 1 p.m. this afternoon. We have an upper level feature moving up out of the plains up into the upper Midwest in the Mississippi River Valley with some energy trailing back into northern Mexico in the southwest. We have a surface low over northeastern Missouri around Hannibal and Quincy, Illinois. With the 540 line coming through the state, we'll have rain changing over to some snow, and we could see some decent accumulations with that. And looking at the probabilities of that, this is through Monday evening at 7 o'clock. You can see this is the probability of seeing at least 2 inches of snow, and that looks to be fairly good across the entire state except the far southeastern counties, with the better chances in the orange areas. You can see the probabilities of 4 inches of snow or more in the areas around Sioux City and then from about mm, Corning and Creston northeastward to Decorah, Prairie du Chien up into Wisconsin. And then the probabilities of seeing 8 inches of snow or more. Very small stripe of about 40 to 50 percent chance from about Ames, Marshalltown to Waterloo and to Decorah and Wacan with lesser probabilities surrounding that. When we take a look at the models, this is the Zero Z NAM for the same time period through Monday evening at 7 o'clock. You can see this shows a band of only maybe mm, four to maybe eight inches of snow across the central and eastern counties and over the northwest. And looking at a different algorithm using a different one, you can see the amount's slightly less. The green area is about four or five inches, the white area is six or more. Don't think it's going to be over eight, as they say. But when we take a look at the GFS, it shows the snow further to the north, mainly north of Highway 30, and it shows amounts that are a little bit too high, over a foot, which I think is a little bit off kilter. And when we take a look at an, the, another algorithm off the GFS, it shows the amount slightly less, but still over a foot in north central Iowa. We're likely going to see amounts anywhere between about mm, four and maybe seven inches. Back to the GFS, and on Monday in the early afternoon, we'll have the light snow showers beginning to taper off from west to east, but it will be cooling down a little bit, highs likely in the 30s across most of the state. And then Tuesday, we still have some wraparound moisture, especially in the northeastern counties. That could be a few flurries and maybe some clouds, but there will be some sunshine filtered in. Highs still remaining in the 30s, maybe near 40 in areas. And it'll be more more sunny here on Wednesday, with high pressure overhead. Wednesday morning could be quite cool. Maybe it lows back into the teens, maybe a few single digits, but it quickly warms up into the 30s, maybe nearing 40 once again. Thursday warms up statewide. Highs likely in the 40s across the state. Maybe skosh cooler in areas with a heavier snowpack, with winds coming out of the south and west. And then heading off into Friday, about the same. Maybe a few more increased cloud cloudiness across the western counties with the disturbance moving across the Dakotas into Minnesota and Nebraska. High still around 40 or so. Same thing goes for Saturday. As a high pressure starts to nose in from Canada, that'll bring a few snow showers across Minnesota, Wisconsin into the Dakotas. A little bit of rain across uh, Nebraska into southern Iowa into Missouri. And then a week from today, we have the upper level feature over New England, keeping a lot of the cooler air there. A bit of a west to northwesterly flow around here, around a flat ridge over the west. And with that, that could bring uh, a little bit cooler weather. Highs back at least into the 30s, with a lot of the precipitation off to our west, south, and southeast. And mainly sunny skies with a few clouds further to our west. A couple days after that, on the 21st, we have an upper level feature with some energy over the Great Lakes, another over the Pacific Northwest, a ridge over the, the Northeast and Eastern Canada, and across the uh, West as well. And we have a fairly decent storm system over the Great Lakes down into the South, maybe some snow in the Great Lakes, some showers and thunderstorms over the South and East into the Gulf Coast, and maybe some cooler temperatures around here. And at the end of the forecast on the 25th, now we have a ridge over us with a storm system beginning to dig in off to our west. We have an upper level feature storm system over the Atlantic. 
Around here, we'll have winds out of the south and the gulf opening up, and we could see a lot of rain, and it looks like to be rain. It'll be well up if this is right. We could see temperatures in the 50s if this is right, with most of the white stuff well to our northwest. Satellite image from last evening. We had the storm system overhead with some rain showers and maybe a few rumbles of thunder, especially south of the state into Texas, where they had a few severe thunderstorm warnings earlier. A little bit of snow across the plains. Elsewhere, it was fairly quiet. The watch warning map from last evening, we had some winter weather issues from New Mexico and Colorado, northeastward through Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, which is covered by a fog advisory, into Wisconsin and Minnesota, and a severe thunderstorm watch in Texas. KPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Thursday evening at 7 o'clock, showing some decent amounts of liquid around here, maybe upwards of an inch and a half around the eastern counties, down to about a quarter to a half an inch over the northwestern counties.